Hi. In this video I will show you how to create multi-bootable USB from ISO with Ventoy in Ubuntu and Windows. Before we start, to stay up to date with my latest videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button above this video, and please stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss any steps. For this video, I will show you how to install Ventoy in Windows and Linux with GUI, Web UI, and command line methods. Let's talk a little about Ventoy, it's an open source tool to create a bootable USB drive for ISO files. With Ventoy, you don't need to format the disk over and over, you just need to copy the ISO files to the USB drive and boot them directly. Ventoy presents a grub menu listing the ISO images present on the USB drive, from where you can choose which one to boot and start using it right away. Ventoy provides legacy BIOS and UEFI with and without secure boot, MBR and GPT partition tables, also, it is possible to transfer the ISO files larger than 4GB in size, which makes it kind of universal. It supports most types of OS, Windows, Linux, Unix, VMware, etc. The application is available for Microsoft Windows and Linux. Let's start by downloading Ventoy from Ventoy.net. Click on Downloads. I use Ubuntu 2104, I will download the Linux version. Extract the file downloaded. To use Ventoy with GUI mode, run the shell script Ventoy GUI.x8664. Make sure the USB drive is connected. Click Install. That USB drive will be formatted and all the data will be lost after install. You just need to install Ventoy once, after that all the things needed are to copy the ISO files to the USB. You can also use it as a plain USB drive to store files and this will not affect Ventoy's function. After the installation is complete you just need to copy ISO files to this partition. You need to open File Manager as root. Put sudo nautilus. Nautilus is the file manager on Ubuntu GNOME. Now I will create a directory ISO and I will copy the ISO files to the USB disk. Ventoy will search all the directories and subdirectories recursively to find all the image files and list them in the boot menu alphabetically.
Now, Ventoy is installed in the USB disk. I won't repeat that but just I will show you how to make that with the command line, web UI, and on Windows. To use Ventoy on the command line. Run the shell script Ventoy2disk.sh to get the help menu. Run the shell script as root ventoy2disk.sh, i, slash dev, slash sdc. For this example, my USB disk is, slash dev, slash sdc. Change sdc with your USB device. To use Ventoy with Web UI, run the shell script as root ventoyweb.sh. Open your browser and visit 127.0.0.1:24680. Then click Install. to use Ventoy with Windows. Download the Windows version from the website. Decompress it. Run Ventoy2Disk.x Select the device, and click Install or Update button. Now your Ventoy bootable USB drive is ready to use. Boot your system with newly created bootable USB drive. We will test to boot from the ISO file with UEFI and legacy BIOS. The images will then be listed on your boot menu and you will choose the one that you wish to use. Select the OS that you wish to install then proceed with the installation.
Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos.